What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are talking full coverage foundations and I'm going to be showing you guys my absolute favorite fullest of full coverage foundations. Like these foundations do not mess around. They are going to cover up any of our problem areas. I personally love full coverage foundations. I'm definitely a full coverage foundation kind of girl. But in today's video, we're just going to be talking about the absolute best foundations in that category and these are not all high end. I feel like that's a very common misconception that if you want a really good full coverage foundation, it has to be high end and expensive and that is not true. We have, I think, just as many drugstore foundations in here as we do high end. So, cheers to that. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like full coverage foundations like I do. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first foundation we're gonna talk about today is like widely, widely known for being one of the most full coverage foundations on the market. And that is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I have been a big fan of this for many, many years. This is gonna cover up literally anything you guys like this is such a full coverage foundation it's crazy you can look up pictures online and people have actually used this to cover up tattoos like for their wedding and stuff it is literally insane it is so pigmented so full coverage you will not be seeing anything. Like you don't even need concealer with this bad boy. That's how full coverage it is. The downside to this foundation is because it is so incredibly pigmented and so full coverage, you definitely can tell when you're wearing this foundation that there is makeup on your face. No one's face looks that perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of like, you definitely can tell that you are wearing foundation, but it does look super flawless, super beautiful. This is also a very long lasting foundation, which is great. I believe it claims, yeah, 24 hour wear and that it is transfer proof. I'm not so sure about the transfer proof part of it to be completely honest with you it is very matte so I mean if you were to just like brush your face up against something then it probably is transfer proof but I mean if you're gonna be like laying on your boyfriend's like shirt with your face on there I feel like if he was wearing a white shirt you'd still be able to see a little bit of it but probably a lot less than like a more dewy or glowy foundation this definitely has a more matte finish to it but if you are looking for full 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 coverage and a matte finish and something that's long wearing, I think this is a really great option. Up next, we're gonna talk about the most full coverage foundation from the drugstore, and in my opinion, that is the Revlon Color Stay. This is very similar to the Kat Von D Locket, in my opinion. It is super, super pigmented, super, super full coverage. I think this one also says, 24 hour wear on it somewhere. I believe that's what it claims. Yes, wears for 24 hours and it does have SPF 15 in it. It comes with a pump, which is great. I hate when drugstore foundations don't have pumps. This is a really good foundation. It has a really big color range, which is also super great. There's tons of different options. This is actually the combination to oily skin version. And even though you guys know I have dry skin, I much prefer the combo to oily skin version in this foundation. I'm actually not a fan of the dry to normal one. I don't really like that. So I'm talking specifically about the combo to oily skin version of this, but it is absolutely amazing. Again, it has a matte finish, but also like the Kat Von D Locket foundation, when you're wearing this foundation, you're certainly going to be able to tell that you do have foundation on your face. We do have some full coverage foundations that are a little bit more on the indetectable side. We'll get to those, but this is definitely one you'll be able to tell that you're wearing products on your face, but still a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Up next, we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I love this foundation. I am such a big fan of it. Again, this is full, full, full coverage. In my opinion, it is about the same coverage as the Kat Von D Locket, but this is what makes this foundation a little bit different. This is newer than the Kat Von D Locket. Like this has been out for years and years. This is a newer foundation to the market. I think it's only been out for about a year now, maybe even less. I think it came out this past summer. The difference to me with this is it's the same coverage, the same pigmentation, super, super high, but it feels less cakey on your face. The Kat Von D one is going to feel thicker on the skin, which to me, I don't really mind to be completely honest. Like I don't care if I I have a cake face. I'm so used to wearing makeup all the time that it doesn't bother me. But if you're the type of person that don't want to feel like you have something heavy on your face, but you still want really full coverage, I would go with the Urban Decay All Nighter because this feels a lot lighter on the skin, although the coverage is still the same. It kind of makes the same claims as well. It's supposed to be super long lasting. It's a matte finish. It's oil free, which I think is worth mentioning. I know a lot of people have problems with their skin with oil in foundations. And it also is waterproof, which is really, really cool. I haven't actually tested this, but if you're the type of person that you don't care if you're going to the pool, the ocean, whatever, you still wanna slay a full face of makeup, go and get this since it is waterproof. That's really, really cool. And as far as I know, there aren't that many 
foundations on the market that are waterproof. So I thought that was really cool. Again, this has a pump. I'm a huge fan of this foundation. The only thing that I can say that I don't like is these foundations oxidize. This is shade five. I definitely need to get a lighter shade in this because when you put it on, it looks okay, but it will oxidize throughout the day. And the foundations definitely do run more on the yellow side as well. I hope that eventually they will come out with more, but the formula on this foundation, the coverage and the way that it wears on the skin is awesome. Up next, we have one of my all time favorite foundations from the drugstore. And this is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. Way back when, when I first started my channel, this was one of my favorite foundations. I used to use it all the time in my tutorials, and I still absolutely love it. It's a drugstore foundation, again, with a pump, and it's three-in-one, like the name says, so it's supposed to be a primer, a foundation, and a concealer all in one. It's definitely very full coverage. It is more of a matte finish, but I would say it's kind of like... I don't know if it says exactly on here like what it's supposed to be. It says shine free and because they're it's not dewy, it's not luminous, but it's not like super, super mattifying. This is kind of more of like in between natural and matte, if that makes sense. Like it has a very natural finish to it, but you're not gonna have any shine or dewiness or anything like that. Why I really like this foundation is because it is super full coverage. It's gonna cover up any problem areas that we have, but unlike the other foundations that we've discussed, this one is a little bit more undetectable on the skin. It's a little lighter. It's not gonna look a thousand percent like you have tons and tons of makeup on your skin. It does let a little bit of your natural skin kind of shine through, which I really, really like about this foundation. I think it's a great foundation for every single day where the other foundations are a little bit more, at least for me personally, like when I'm doing a super glam look or I'm going out at night or to a special event or something like that, where this is a foundation that I would reach for on an everyday basis, even though it still is very full coverage. It's a little bit more wearable, a little lighter on the skin, and kind of lets a little of your natural skin shine through. And the last foundation I want to talk about today is one of my absolute favorites. This was actually one of the first foundations that I ever wore in my entire life, and it's such a cult classic. It's been around for so long, and that is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I feel like if any time throughout your life you've got your makeup done at like a MAC counter, or you've ever even just been to the the matte counter. You've tried this. The girl has put a little bit on you on your neck or something. I used to always get my makeup done at MAC like for prom and stuff um, and I always used to wear this foundation. It's so so amazing. This foundation is super full coverage. It has a very natural to matte finish and the absolute favorite thing that I love about this foundation is there are so many colors in this foundation. Like I'm pretty sure MAC Studio Fix Fluid or just MAC in general probably has the biggest color range on foundations ever, like out of any brand, there are so many different colors. I have this one in NC30, but I kind of range depending on how self-tanned I am or how pale I am, but there are so many different colors in this foundation and MAC foundations in general, which I really, really love because again, I've said it in my other videos, but if I'm gonna recommend a product to you guys, I wanna make sure that every single person that watches my video is gonna be able to find a shade that matches them because I know a lot of companies only cater to people that kind of fall middle of the range with like medium skin tones. And there's not a lot of fair foundations, there's not a lot of darker foundations, but MAC, they covered their bases. They have so, so many different shades in this foundation, which is so awesome, and it really is an absolutely amazing foundation. It'll last all day on your skin. This has just always been an absolute holy grail favorite of mine. I will literally wear this forever. So yeah, those are my absolute favorite holy grail, fullest of full coverage foundations. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit from it. I will put the shades that I am in in all the foundations down below, because I realized throughout the video I wasn't telling you guys which shade I was, but I will put down below the shade that I currently am in this foundation to help you guys for reference if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!